Oh, mm, that was a good one right after that snake. And under it, you guys can see it's like a whole forest. Fortunately, he got gut hooked. I didn't set the hook quick enough. So we're gonna have to do a little uh, surgery on this guy. It could be drugs, it could be money, it could be a head. Uh, you, no one knows, but. Beautiful morning out today. Guys, look where I am. Today, we are back doing some more urban fishing. And you know the saying, the early bird gets the worm. In fact, it's so early, look behind me. You guys see that? Right above my head? That's the moon. Ah, that is what I like to see. Nice vegetation and a nice oil slick right next to the vegetation. Mmm, yummy. Look at that, it's so early, all the dock lights are still on. And look at this, someone is already littering. I'm gonna throw this away. I hate seeing people litter. Honestly, this lake right here is probably one of the most polluted lakes in Columbia, Maryland. That's where I live. I mean, look, we got a bajillion of restaurants. People are always walking along the waterfront, throwing away their trash. It's disgusting. But what are you gonna do, right? I'm just happy that the fishing has seemed to have rebounded from the past few years, which it's been complete garbage. But we're gonna see if we can find a couple nice chunks today and get them on top water. Oh man, look at that. Some carp fighting over there. As you guys can see, the vegetation has really overtaken this lake. I mean, there's weeds as far as the eye can see. In fact, all the way out in the middle, I see fish popping. So that just means the fish could be scattered throughout the entire lake, plenty of cover. We're getting to fish fast. We're getting to cover some water. I think I got just the bait to do that. Aha, my buzz toads. This is like a buzz bait and a frog combined. Just stick that right in there. Bada boom, bada bing. Look at that. Beautiful, completely weedless. Well, hold on, text pose it. Now, completely weedless presentation. Let's get started. Ah, yeah, yeah. Imagine if skipping actually paid off. That would be real nice. If you could actually catch something under these freaking docks. Nope, they're like ghost towns. I don't get it. Why no fish under here? Guys, comment below. I mean, I read your comments last time. You told me to skip under here, so that's what I'm doing now, and just no sign of any fish. It's ridiculous. Sneak up on this little culvert right here. Pitch my bait down. I think something just hit it. Oh, there's a little bass nipping at it. A little itty bitty guy. See if he wants to play. Nah. Oh, yikes. We got something over to my right, guys. I'm getting a little, just slightly nervous. I mean, if this was Philadelphia, where I used to live, I'd be real nervous as to what is in that cooler, but we're in Columbia, Maryland. I'm sure it's nothing. In Philly, it could be drugs, it could be money, it could be a head. Uh, no one knows, but let's go ahead and take a quick quick peek and what's in Mr. Igloo right here. Uh, hmm. It looks uh, innocent enough. I mean, we got a heavy black bag, a half drinking Powerade, and an empty bag. Now this feels really heavy. Oh, oh God. It's something squishy. I think it's best not to open up whatever's in there. And honestly, I don't even know if I want to throw this away because maybe someone is going to come back and claim it. So I'm just going to leave it right here where it was. And if no one takes it by the time I'm done fishing, then I'm going to throw it away. Oh, no, no. Oh, you shoot. Oh my, that's a good fish right there. Come on, come back. Come back, baby. He's got it. Oh, jeez! That's not a good fish, guys. Whoa! Top 10 most vicious hook sets right there. Oh, through the eye. Yikes. My bad, little dude. Well, buddy, good thing you still got your sense of smell, your sense of taste, your lateral line, and one eye. You'll be okay. My bad, bud. This little guy was uh, actually way more aggressive than he should have been. 
which led me to get a little bit overexcited. But that is fish number one, right by the mystery cooler, which we still don't know what's in there. And I'm a little too scared to check it out. We are making a change. I'm gonna go to the traditional frog, and I'm actually gonna go for this killer gill pattern. The reason why is look what we found on the ground right here. Found a little baby bluegill that it looks like a fish probably spit up. If you guys look at the bottom, match the hatch, right? Give it a shot. Oh, jeez. Giant snake just slithered out right in front of me. Oh, man, look at this. That was probably his hiding home right there. Look at this hole. Oh, oh that was a good one. Right after that snake. Yes. First good fish of the day. Oh, I'm stuck. All right. It's a dink. I lied. There you guys go. Little pounder. Let you go, buddy. Thank you for being the first good fish today. Man, I love this frog. This is the easiest frog to walk the dog with. The Spro Bronze Eye Shad. Do a short cast right here. Light twitches. Look at that walking action. I don't know if you guys can see it from that distance, but this thing walks like a beast. Whoa! Did you guys see that? That fish just jumped out of the weeds chasing something. Probably a little bluegill running away. Come on, eat that bait. Dude, that was nuts. Oh, there's one. Ah, another dink. Another bitty dink, guys. Oh man. This is not the size I was hoping for. But, better than nothing. I thought there were some big fish in here. I thought this lake was doing better, but looks like it's still a dink fest. Oh, you guys can see the bluegill are actually on their beds right there. Oh, I got another two bites in a row. All right, let's switch it up. Check this out, guys. I'm gonna hit these fish with the one-two punch. We know there's a pretty decent population of fish in the clump of grass right in front of me. So we couldn't get him to bite on the frog. We got one on the frog. Now we're gonna slow it down. We're gonna make him eat the Senko. Offset worm hook, hide it completely weedless. Look at that. That's gonna get him. Spot. He's on it. There he is. Third cast. What I tell you guys? That's, well, I might as well water ski this guy in. We've got some more fish to catch. Can't be wasting our time with all the dinks. It's one two punch right there. Eventually, we're gonna find some good fish. All right, this guy's ready to go. Give him a quick release. Oh man, look at this, dude. Guys, are those actually snake? Oh. Are those actually snake holes? These holes are everywhere. And the last hole, the first hole that I saw, a snake did run right, right by it. So comment below, what lives in those holes right there? Back to search mode. But before we do, let's check out our spawning friends right here, which are the bluegill. Hey buddies, got some little, are these, are these fry? No, they're, they're like juvenile bluegill. Oh, they all, they all scattered off. So you guys can see what we're dealing with. We've got grass everywhere. And in fact, even when I'm casting out towards the middle, I'm getting pecks from these bluegill. So they're literally everywhere. And let's go, so if you guys look up above, that's called cheese grass. This is some of the best grass you can fish for fishing a frog or some other type of top water, buzz toe, something like that. And under it, you guys can see it's like a whole forest. Hey there, buddy. How's it going? Dude, that guy, that guy's freaking out. Yeah, I mean, you really wouldn't be able to fish anything but a frog. You'd be able to flip and pitch in it if you're on a boat or a kayak. But from the bank, you're going to be pretty limited fishing this kind of stuff. Right, let's, let's go in there. Let's take a look. Here's a little bluegill hiding in the grass. And these bass will also hide in the grass and they'll wait to ambush stuff. 
This guy just darted out. What up, buddy? All right. Let's keep looking for that big bite. Oh, there's a bite. And boom goes the dynamite. Oh, yes. Ah, it's a giant. Oh, we got a we got a 4 ouncer with 2 pounds of slop. Ah, not a lot of meat with that salad. Unfortunate. Oh, we're making a move. It's all dinks in this uh, this cheese mat right in front of me. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's a big fish right there. Oh, it's a carp. Never mind. One big fish is all I want today. Just one. I don't know what the big fish are. We have a wind coming through. And there's a choke point right there, but as you guys can see, it's completely overgrown. You can't get through it unless you go around it. So we're in it to win it. Let's see if this move pays off. Ah. Whoa, okay. Okay. We have to stay by the bank because it drops off real fast. We made it. Look at that, guys. Choke point, wind coming through. In theory, big fish should be hanging around here waiting for an easy meal to come right to him. We'll find out. That's a, that's a fish, that's a fish. That's a, feels like a slightly better fish. Slightly better guys. This is a, as sad as it is, this is an upgrade. I've caught like 20 dinks already. This guy's actually swallowed it. Ah. Fortunately, he got gut hooked. I didn't set the hook quick enough. So we're gonna do a little uh, surgery on this guy. Check him out. About a, uh, probably about 11 inches. And then interestingly, look at that. He's got a sore on the bottom of his mouth. Looks like he's been feeding near the bottom. We're gonna go in carefully through the gills, grab the shank of the hook like that. And now we're gonna rotate it out, grab it. Now we're going to slowly rotate it, slowly, until it's upside down, like that. So now it's pretty much upside down. Now I'm going to let go of it. I already got it out, by the way, guys. It was that easy to get a gut hook out. Grab the hook point, and you want to do this very gently. These are very sensitive parts of the fish. Pull it out, and look at this. This fish is completely fine. No blood, no bleeding, no bleeding in the gills, no bleeding in the gullet. He will be perfectly healthy to let go. Watch this. That's how you take care of a gut hook fish. All right, buddy. You guys watching? Look at that. Healthy as a horse. All right. This is it. The final destination. Now or never. Dink City, or will I catch the one monster I've been searching for? That's the one. That's the one. I just switched baits. That's the biggest fish of the day. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Jesus. Don't. Let's go. <sighs> Guys. <sighs> this is not a giant. It's a solid fish, mind you, but this ain't no giant. Just switch to a bluegill chatterbait. It just looked too chatterbaity out here. Got rewarded. Never give up, guys. Never give up. I don't care how many things you catch, eventually, if you stick with it, you pull out a nice fish. We're gonna weigh this guy, because it's most likely gonna be the biggest fish of the day. What does that say? Two, what does that say? Two pounds, 14 ounces. Wait, no. No, no, that's 2.14. 2.14, just over two pounds, almost two and a quarter. This guy is a beautiful fish. We will not say no to a fish like that after catching dinks all day. Let's get an underwater release. All right, friend. Thank you so much for eating my chatterbait. I'm gonna let you go now. You ready? Look at that down there, there's some minnows. Look at those. All right, back to the release. Look, let's take a look in that gullet. All right, ready? She's ready. Whoa! 
Slow, steady retrieve. That's all it took. Let me show you guys the bait. I'm using a Z-Man chatter bait, 3 8 ounce, bluegill pattern, and we've got a Zoom Super Fluke Junior trailer that I've dipped in JJ's Magic. Try to imitate that chartreuse tail a lot of bluegill get. It also gives the bait a little more flair, a little easier to pick up in this muddy, polluted, disgusting water. In case you didn't know, I actually spend two hours every single day answering comments using the YouTube studio app. It'll show me comments from no matter how long ago the video was. If you post it, I'll see it. And although I may not respond to every single one, I appreciate them all and I especially love the funny meme ones. You guys can get uh, pretty rowdy in the comment section sometimes, but I enjoy it no matter what. That is it for today. The sign out and the video. Don't leave me hanging guys. I'll catch you later. Oh, there's one. Little bonus guy before we leave. Oh my gosh, it's a giant. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God, check this out. That thing's a monster. Watch this, watch this. Let this guy go. Oh, oh he's ready. Watch this, guys. A giant right here. It's a giant. Oh. Oh my gosh, that's the biggest one I've ever seen. Okay. Oh, he took it. Oh. oh. Oh my God, he's vicious. He's vicious. He wants it. He wants it. Look at him. Dude, this is the, oh. oh, he's main. Look at this thing. I'm not gonna set the hook on him, but this guy is vicious. Look at that. Dude, that's the most vicious frog I've ever seen.